Say it with me, Africa. You're going to see a victory. You're going to see a victory because the battle belongs to the Lord. Africa is standing up for their children. And if our God is for us, then who can be against us? A lot of people, but who cares? God is for us. And Africa is protecting its children. For good reason. I'll show you. It to be life imprisonment. For whoever recruits our children, for whoever gets involved in making sure that our children are involved into this. In our country, we will have our morals. We will protect our children. And we are making this law. We are making this law for ourselves. We are making this law for our children. We are making this law for the children of our children. This country will stand firm. And once it passed, I can tell you, Madam Speaker, we are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to show you this video on what's going on with the children. Why these African politicians who are in this day and age, these politicians in Africa right now, some of the smartest, most intelligent politicians the world has ever seen are coming from Africa right now. And even Jamaica's following suit. They got a very strong body over there as well. But when the agenda's coming after your children, it gets different. It gets into a different point, which is why the Africans are doing what they're doing right now. The whole world's following suit. Uh, the majority of the world is following Africa right now. And uh, Africa's taking the lead on this. Watch this video. I'm going to actually, it's a different way to inform you, but it's hopefully you get the point because it's where the rubber meets the road. So hopefully you get this. Um, a lot of people call San Francisco Sodom and Gomorrah of America. That and Las Vegas. They, they both, Las Vegas is Sin City. Uh, San Francisco is known as the Sodom and Gomorrah. And they have a choir of, a gay choir in San Francisco. And uh, they made a video. And it gives the playbook on how they're going to grow and expand their movement, basically. So uh, I know it's, I, I want to bring somebody else in for this. Somebody maybe, because uh, they talk about RuPaul in this. And RuPaul, and they say, that even your grandma likes RuPaul. Um, I don't think they, many grandmas know RuPaul. So what if I brought somebody else in on this video? Maybe I should go get my mom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to go ahead and go over this with... Uh, my mom, my children's grandmother, because they mentioned a the grandmother in the song. And uh, oh, okay. this is Debbie. Uh, say hello. She's raised me hey, up to hi. be a mighty man of God. That's my mom. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for this, mom? I'm ready. Okay. Let her go. What this is, it's the San Francisco uh, Gay Choir. Gay Choir? Yes, it's a gay choir. Okay. And well. uh, they came out with this song. And uh, I would just, here we go. We're going to go ahead and it's going to be on the screen over here. We'll go ahead and watch it. Okay. And hopefully you all do too. As we celebrate pride on the progress we've made over these past years, there's still work to be done. So to those of you out there who are still working against equal rights, we have a message for you. You think we're sinful. You fight against our rights. You say we all lead lives you can't respect. But you're just frightened. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked funny just this once you're correct okay what do you think so far wow wow so he's saying at the end of this funny just this once I'm you're correct, correct. On the, on that, it, that there is an agenda yeah. That there is a bottom line agenda, which For, we already knew that there was a bottom line agenda, mm -hmm. agenda to, to uh, this gay right and absolutely not fighting against their right to do anything except fighting against their right to disrupt our rights. Right. As parents, grandparents. And that's, doesn't it, uh, with that right there, it goes, uh, we'll corrupt your kids. And he's saying you're correct. But I mean, it's kind of a well, and right that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is that, that uh, we'll protect our children, and we are making this law. We are making this law for ourselves. We are making this law for our children. We are making this law for the children of our children. That we're up against corruption mm -hmm. in all aspects. In this, and uh, this, as far as the gay rights are concerned, it's uh, we're fighting against uh, sexual perversion. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. They are right. Uh, they think they have the right to push their sexual 
perversion. We consider it perversion yeah. anyway. And according to the word of God, uh, it is perversion. Mm -hmm. But it's very, it's very sad on, yeah. you know, but I look at it a, as I, a point too is, you know, that's somebody's child. Yeah. How, how did they get like that? How did they, you know, how did they end up in such a bad position? Yeah, because a gay, a gay man and gay Two gay men couldn't have. Had, it couldn't be two gay men's child. It can't be two gay women's child. It's got to be a, That's right. a straight person's child. Yes. That was corrupted. Yes. So okay. Wow. Well. I'll keep going. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. You can keep them from disco. Warn about San Francisco Make him wear pleated pants, we don't care We'll convert your children We'll make them tolerant and fair Wow Wow That's all I can say about that What do, you, what do they mean to make them tolerant? Why is it their job to make my children to do anything with my children. Well, it's not. It's not. We'll convert your children. We'll make their to make them tolerant and fair. Oh, well. Well, you know, uh, he's, he said they're going to do it subvertly and undercover. And where, and where the truth is, the truth is they're not doing it that way because we're right. well aware. We're mm. well aware of what they're doing. And he just made a video on it, right? He just made a video Not on it. Not just him. This is the whole choir that gets involved in this. It goes oh, forward. A there's a whole choir? Yeah, this is a whole... Oh, it's very sad. Yeah. A young man's life is ruined, you know? It's ruined. It's, it's very, very sad. At first, I didn't get why you'd be so scared of us turning your children into accepting, caring people, but I see now why you'd have a problem with that. Well, can you hold that for just a minute? Number one, I'm not afraid of this group. No. I am not afraid of their belief system. I'm not afraid of really anybody's belief, belief system. I didn't get why you'd be so scared of us. Yeah, I'm not scared of them either. You know, <laughs> That's a joke. What do they think? But, yeah. Yeah. Wow. They don't have any power to make us fear. Turning your children into accepting and caring people, you know. No, that's not turning a child into an accepting and caring person. It's turning a child into a belief system. Mm -hmm. A child, you know, can be accepting and caring, you know. Uh, I found out that my own family is very accepting and caring, and it doesn't have this, the, um, the gay lifestyle at all. It's, it's sad, and it's sad to see this, this young man's life is... Just, he's been totally deceived himself. Yeah. Totally deceived himself. I would like to ask the question, I'd like to know how he absolutely got this way. Right. You know, in his belief system. Mm hmm But. At first I didn't get why you'd be so scared of us turning your children into accepting, caring people, but I see now why you'd have a problem with that. Just like you worried, they'll change their group of friends. You won't approve of where they go at night. To protest, oh, when you'll be disgusted. So gross. When they start finding things online that you've kept far from their sight, like information. Guess what? You'll, you'll still, still be, be alright. We'll convert your children. Yes, we will. Reaching one and all, there's really no escaping it. Cause even Grandma likes RuPaul. Wow. Wow, it just it continues to get worse. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so they're saying that, I mean, if you tell your kids not to go out at night or be home a certain time, they're kind of bucking it, saying they're going to do it anyway because we're telling them. Yes. Uh, we're manipulating them into doing it things our way, not your parents. Don't listen to your don't listen to your parents. Yes. Well, we're absolutely going to be the influence on your children's life, whether you like it or not. You know, mm -hmm. whether you want us tonight, we'll reach them by internet, we'll reach them in... Yeah, in all these ways, which is, is what they're doing. If you look at their playbook, it's kind of what they're doing. Yes. Now, they even say here, because even Grandma likes RuPaul. 
I don't even know who RuPaul is. Thank so. you. I don't think 99% of the grandmas in America or in the RuPaul world is. know who RuPaul is. I have no RuPaul idea. Is. I don't even know who RuPaul is. I think it's some transgender. This would be a very, very, th actually, this would be a great song for a lot of parents to hear. Yeah. If they're letting their children uh, loose on the internet or mm -hmm. online or even in their own personal it, lives. It's a playbook. It's their yeah. playbook. Yeah. It's a, wow. It's, it's, it's shocking. It's shocking, but yet again, it's this, it's a, you know, sign of the times that we live in right now, mm -hmm. you know, that honestly, maybe nothing is shocking anymore. Right. So, but it, it I find this to be very, um, they're uh, in your face. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to do, whether you like it as a parent or not. We don't care about your influence on your family. We don't care about your beliefs, the belief mm -hmm. system of your family. We don't care if you, this is what, you know, Yeah. this is, this is what we're going to do to your children. Well, this might be a good song for a lot of yeah, parents. Yeah, I think, think it would be eye-opening. Eye Here it is eye-opening. Makes me angry and sad and then back to anger again. So I guess we'll keep going. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And the world's getting kinder. Gen Z's gayer than grinder. Whoa. J <laughs> Generation Z is gayer than grinder. Wow. Who's grinder? Uh, I don't know, but Generation Z is is gayer. The world's getting kinder. Uh, I don't know about that. I think the world's getting fed up. Well, that's not true. The world isn't getting kinder. Life without Jesus is not a kinder world. <laughs> right. No. Wow. Yeah, keep going. Learn to love, learn to vogue, face your fate. We'll convert your children. Someone's got to teach them not to hate. You know, it's not about love-hate for people. It's about hating a lifestyle, a perverted lifestyle. That's all it is. It's not about the person. Right. You know. I hate the spirit behind it. But I rebuke every word that they say, and I rebuke the spirit behind it that's coming out against our children. Yes. And uh, I don't hate them. The reason Jesus came in the first place, you know, was to bring mankind back to God. Mm -hmm. You know, and he did through the cross, of course, you know. But to deliver us from things like this. Yeah. To deliver mankind from their own way. You know, that's, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a shocking song. But at the same time, it's really. It's, Let me know what you guys out there are thinking about this, too. Leave yeah. some comments on how you feel about what this is and what it is. It's about hating conversion. the sin and yeah. not the sinner. Yeah. You know, Jesus came and died for sinners. You know, yeah. the Bible says, "For this purpose was the Son of God manifest to destroy the works of the evil one, the devil." Mm -hmm. You know, he came because the devil's out to destroy people's lives, not teach them, heal them. You know, God mm -hmm. is love. Amen. Loving sexual perversion. Is not love. Right. That's love. <laughs> By far. That love, is absolutely. Lust and love are two different things. Yes, it is. And, and, and uh, you love the sinner, but you don't love the sin. Right. There's a price that's been paid for that. Jesus loved the prostitute. And he stopped the, those uh, you know, Pharisees and, and Sadducees from stoning her. But he didn't say, okay, now go and keep prostituting. You know, let's actually have a celebration for it. That's right. You know, Jesus said, go and sin no more. That's this right. is what you're going to get yes. if you sin. So, because, yeah. you know, the wages of sin is death. And, and I think that the promotion of sin, you know, you're promoting in death in a way. I mean, but Jesus loved the, loved the prostitute. Well, I think the accusatory the finger is when they say, you know, you don't love. You claim to be a Christian. Mm-hmm. But you, you're, you're, you have a hatred toward people. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not our hatred toward people. It's hatred towards a lifestyle that generally hurts people. Yeah. I've known some of them personally that have been personally hurt 
through a lifestyle. Maybe some of them are happy. And I'm not going against anybody's right to do anything that they want to do on the side of heaven, but there's... There's consequences. There is, con there is consequences. There is consequences, and that, to me, that is very sad. It's a consequence that Jesus already bore for them, too. Right. You know, he and bore I just their sin want, and the consequence And when they it. start talking about bringing my kid into that, yeah. the consequences my kid would have yeah. to suffer because yeah. of their yes. conversion That's right. therapy, then I'm... Then you're I back. Hate, yeah. then, I, then I'm feeling a little bit of yes. you know, hatred. That's not going to happen. And anger. <laughs> but that's not going to happen, and, and uh, that's very... Arrogant yeah. to think that they think that they're going to take a step over, maybe through a parent's blindness right. or them not knowing what their kids are looking or at or not, not knowing what yeah. the involvement that their kids are in. But if they'll be diligent to watch over their children, to pray for their children, and to know and to be a responsible, to be a responsible parent, yeah. the Lord will keep their kids. And if, they're, if their kids are already caught up in a lifestyle that's already detrimental to their life. Yeah. You know, and they're probably going to say, detrimental to my life. This is not detrimental to my life. This is, you know, they willingly enter into things like this uh, with their own lives. Yeah. But, you know, the, the, Jesus the is right there. love from hate, too. It's like the first thing God says in his commandments is, love the Lord your God with all your heart. And then the second thing is, children, obey your mom and dad. I yeah. mean, those two things are right there. And those are the two things that we're trying, I, I think that, this is coming up against is the love from God yeah, first. And true. then, man, you know, they want you to love their, whatever their, is in their... I li their lifestyle. Yeah. Their lifestyle. And I don't. To them, it's not perverted. Right. To them, it's some, t some, torpo some type of love. There's love involved. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Love is way deeper than climbing in bed with somebody. Amen. Love goes yeah. way deeper. The Bible says that God demonstrated his love when he went to the cross for us. Now, that is... Love, amen. Undeniable, yeah. <laughs> can't beat that. Powerful, glorious love, and so we that, do love people, and, and we love one another, and we do love people. But the lifestyle and the sin, absolutely not, absolutely not. Right. No. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay. Teach them not to hate. This is hard to watch. We're coming for them. We're coming for oh, your children. Guess what? God is pouring out his spirit on all flesh right now, and they're coming for you. The love of God is going to chase you down mm -hmm. until you find him and his love irresistible and find out the destiny and the plan that the Lord has for their lives. It's so big and so vast and so wonderful, you know, mm. that uh, so I really believe that these are the days that of the uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I do too. And that God is, he's going to pursue. He's going to go out and he's going to pursue every one of these guys with a love that they've never experienced before. Huh? A love um, you can't get from, or satisfaction you can't get from even climbing in bed with anybody. Yeah. It's a love that goes way beyond that. Yeah. Way, way, way beyond, way beyond that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. But this is the only way that these guys are going to get to your children through the internet. Yes. Or the schools. That's right. Parents beware. Yeah. You know. Yeah, watch your watch your Be vigilant over your children. Watch be watchful over your children. Mm -hmm. For these things that they're talking about. Yes. Impart the word of God into their hearts, into their lives, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, keep going. If I can handle it more. Yeah, we're <laughs> coming for your children. We're coming for we're them. We're coming for them. We're coming for your children. We're coming for them. We're coming for, we're coming for, we're coming for them. So let it be life imprisonment. For whoever recruits our children, for whoever gets involved in making sure that our children are involved in to this. Your children will work to convert all their sisters and brothers. Then soon we're almost certain. Your kids will start converting you. The gay agenda is coming home. The gay agenda is here. But you don't have to worry. But you don't have to worry. Because there's nothing wrong with standing by our side.
why can I pour it in for me? Because the world always needs a bit more pride. Come on, try a little pride. We'll convert I, I, I think it goes on longer, but I just couldn't handle it anymore when I was putting the lyrics on it. But it goes on longer. Mm-hmm. There's there's somebody's children. I see a lot of old men there too. Wow, you know, old, yeah, uh huh. It is that's the, a, it's the that, San Francisco gay choir, but I think that's kind of like the been the. So you get this old person coming after my children, right? That doesn't just, for what? Anyway, let me know what you all think about this video, and what you know, think about my mom's thoughts. What you think about my thoughts, and let your own thoughts in there, and how you feel about what uh, what's going on, and, and you know, we'll. Uh, Keep it going, and I want to thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>